The Vulgate is usually credited as being one of the first translations of the Old Testament into Latin directly from the Hebrew Tanakh, rather than the Greek Septuagint. It was Saint Jerome, who in 382 AD, translated the Hebrew term Halel to Lucifer, although, it is evident, that Lucifer was a translation of the Septuagint Greek Heosphoros, Dawn Bearer, Greek Phosphorus, Light Bearer. Lucifer is a Latin name, in Roman astronomy Lucifer was the name given to the morning star, Venus. The name derives from the Latin term, Lucem Fere, bringer, or bearer, of light. Early Christian scribes writing in Latin, as was used by the church, interpreted the verse to mean a fallen angel. This venereal desire is by the poets called Urania, and Olympia, because it proceeds from heaven, namely, from the sun, the chief ruler in heaven. And to show that by Venus they meant the sun, as he is the god of love, they speak of her in the masculine gender, so doeth, Virgil, they paint her with a beard, hence Venus Barata, to show the sunbeams. They gave her the epithets of the sun, in calling her golden Venus, so doeth, Virgil, Venus, or Rhea. And by the Greek poets, golden Aphrodite, and by the eastern people she was called Baloth Shamajim, the ruler of heaven, and Phosphorus or Lucifer, from the light of the sun, which Venus or the moon borroweth. So what Orpheus in Hymis speaks of Venus, is to be understood of the sun, that is, thou procreates all things in heaven, in the earth and in the sea or depths. She is called fair-haired, to show the beauty of the sunbeams. Even though the ancient Semites realized that the evening and morning star were different manifestations of the same entity, they looked upon the planet as male in the morning and female in the evening. Hence the Romans spoke of the morning star as Lucifer, the light bearer, who became the feminine Venus of the evening sky. The glow of dawn's early light was personified, in antiquity, as a goddess, the manifestation of Ishtar Venus in the morning who victoriously gave birth to the wondrous male child, the morning star, who in turn became transformed into the rising sun. Lucifer was known amongst the ancients as the herald of day, the bright and beautiful harbinger of light. Because none of the eastern nations take the name of Venus from the root HLL. Though the Arabs do that of the moon, which they call Halal. Halal, is in its form more like to the verb, meaning to howl or give praise, than to a noun, and accordingly the Syriac translation renders it, Halel, howl or praise, and even Jerome on the place observes, that it literally means howl or praise. Venus, the morning star, who on account of her beauty was by most nations reckoned feminine, should have rather have been called daughter, than son, of the morning. If the morning star had been meant, it would have been more proper to say, Thou hast grown pale, as the stars do on the approach of the sun, and last of all, the morning star, but by no means, thou hast fallen from heaven, since that star is never so much elevated above the horizon, that it has far to fall. Lucifer is in the original Hebrew named, Halel, the shining, the brilliant, a name which has no affinity with any extant of the planet Venus, though much with many names of the sun, as Hel, in Phoenician, Heli, in Sanskrit, and Helios, in Greek. Lucifer, according to the poets was the son of Jupiter and Aurora. Lucirius, in mythology, a name given to Jupiter, as Lucyria was given to Juno, these being considered as the deities who gave light to the world. Lucius, as an epithet, belongs to Jupiter. As the idol Jupiter among the Romans had different names and different rites of worship, occasioned sometimes from the different benefits which he was thought to bestow upon men, as Jupiter Pluvius, because he gave rain, Jupiter Lucius because he gave light. Jupiter not only represented heaven, but also the sun. Lucifer, son of Jupiter. In the cuneiform text of the Ira myth, Marduk is called Shulpei, the name of Jupiter in the early morning, and there can be little doubt that Halel is a transcription of a Babylonian title of Marduk Jupiter, Elil, the Shining One. 
Marduk is the spring sun, Ninib is the summer sun, Nepo the autumn sun, and Nergal the winter sun. Marduk, was finally as definite a spring equinox sun god, as Amen-Ra, in Egyptian mythology was a summer solstice sun god. Marduk, the early sun, rises daily. Marduk, as early sun of the day and the year. As to the sun god Marduk, then he represents the sun at the vernal equinox. Jupiter was identified with the god Marduk. Marduk Jupiter was the bearer of signs to the inhabited world. Lucifer, son of Jupiter. Lucifer, thus, being the son of a sun god, can only be the sun, it is in my learned opinion that Lucifer was nothing but the ousted Roman sun god Jupiter. Jupiter dethroned, and demonized as Lucifer, this notion coincides along the 500 year timeline of which occurred the fall of the Roman Empire and pantheon of gods, the rise of Christianity, the compilation of biblical texts, and the full-fledged worship of Jesus Christ. Lucifer was considered the god of light, a sun god in Roman paganism, that was just an allegory of the light within us all, as all the sun gods originally symbolized. Then, as the rays break through, the sun is represented as glorying in his might, the shone of self-praise, manifestly represents the bursting forth of the sun's rays. The connection between shouting, especially shouting in triumph, and brightness is very ancient. The Hebrew Sahal, means both to shine brightly and to cry aloud. Hillel, also, which means to cry out in triumph, originally meant to be brilliant, as we see by the names, Halel, the Hebrew for morning star, and Hil Al, the Arabic for new moon. For we find that the word El, in the Hebrew, as a verb, means to shine, glitter, irradiate, and, as a noun, signifies splendor, irradiation, glory and so forth, that it is the root of the Hebrew name for the book of Psalms, which abounds in phrases of sun worship, that it occurs in all the sun worshipping passages just cited, that it is in the word Hallelujah. Hallelujah, was an ancient sun worship designation, a loud cry, giving praise to the sun or sun god. Jehaliel, equals a praiser of God. This Helios is Halel, or Lucifer, and his name actually denoted the sun among many Kitan families, as a rule, however, the Kitan used the same word to denote both sun and moon. Thus Jehaliel, or Halel, is simply Lucifer, the light bringer, whether by day or night. The Greek Helios and Latin Sol are loan words from the Hittite. Writing upon the meaning of the term Hallelujah, Elui, which we render praise to God, he notices the fact that it is the same acclamation as El Liui, with which the Greeks began and ended their paeans, or sacred hymns in honors of Apollo the sun. The term Hillel may be derived from the Hebrew Hillel, to irradiate, to shine, but the term, to be a light bringing compliment to King Bel, would be found possibly in Hill, an issue, a progeny and for El or El, second as thus systematically reflecting a peculiar honor on him by an imputed connection with the movements of the true, original hill, as Hail Hall, the reflex of the primary luminary of the heavens. Hell, an ancient root to shine, as in the Greek Helios sun, Hebrew Halel, bright, and Finnic heel bright. The soft H interchanges with S, and in other languages Sal, or Sil, is the same, Latin Sol Sun, Akkadian and Turkish Sil Shine. For Servius, speaking of Belus, affirms, The Phoenicians and Syrians call Cronus or Saturn Hell, all in those parts about Phoenicia, worship the Sun, who in their language is called Hell, and again he says, God is called Hell in the Punic or Carthaginian tongue, hence in El, Al, Hell, and Hal, there is but one word under these several forms, and the first use ever made of these forms was to name the sun. It is usually claimed that by the word Halel, son of the morning, in Isaiah 14:12, the morning star, or, more correctly, one of the two stars, is meant, and the analogy with hell, to glitter, seems to favor the view, closely considered, 
However, there is little foundation for the supposition, since Isaiah gives no intimation whatsoever that Halel is a star. In fact, the word star was added since the word star does not appear in the Hebrew original. How did the modern versions come up with their translation? On what basis do they use the words morning star? The answer, simply by adding a word to the Hebrew text, the Hebrew text has the words, Halel ben Shakar. That literally translates into Halel, son of the morning. You will notice that the word star, Hebrew word, Kokob, is not there at all. The modern versions translate the passage as if the Hebrew text stated, Kokob Shakar, Ben Shakar. In doing so they actually add the word star Kokob, and repeat the word Shakar, meaning morning or dawn. But what is the justification of the modern translation for using the words morning star? The Hebrew Halel comes from the root HLL, meaning to shine. Thus, the Latin translation of Lucifer comes from two Latin words, Lucius, meaning light and furrow to carry, bring or bear. Neither does the Hebrew or the Latin say anything about any supposed star. Therefore, there is no reference to any star, nor the planet Venus. Heel and El are titles of the sun. Halel the original of Lucifer, was the personification of the sun and the shining light. O was not only a hieroglyph for the sun, O was also the first name for the sun. Provided this knowledge, consider such biblical titles as, O God, O Lord, O Jesus, O Daystar, and O Lucifer. How you are fallen from heaven, O Daystar, son of dawn. In the centuries that followed, somehow the name Lucifer became applied to Satan, and herds of enthusiasts began to apply Isaiah 14 to the devil. But contemporary demonology is as botched as the devil himself, and most modern interpreters diligently steer clear of the association. The King James Version still printed Lucifer in their translation of Isaiah 14:12 but the Derby translation was the last to follow. Charles D. Young, the philologist, on Lucifer Luciferus says, Lucifer is no profane or satanic title. It is the Latin Luciferus, the light bringer, the morning star, equivalent to the Greek Phosphorus the name of the pure, pale herald of daylight Lucifer. Helena Blavatsky states, before Milton, Lucifer had never been a name of the devil. Quite the reverse, since the Christian Saviour, Jesus Christ is made to say of himself in Revelation 22:16, I am the bright morning star or Lucifer. One of the early popes of Rome bore that name and there was even a Christian sect in the 4th century which was called the Luciferians. I am the root and the offspring of David, and the bright and morning star. How you have fallen from heaven, morning star, son of the dawn. Here, morning star, is taken in its strictest sense and equates to the sun of the dawn, not the planet Venus. Upon closer observation, we see the eye with the triangle or pyramid. The Freemasons say that it is the all-seeing eye of God, Ra, Horus, Osiris, or Lucifer. We know without a doubt, from the sun myths, that this eye is the emblem of the sun or sun god. In Vedic India the sun was spoken of as the eye of Mithra. It was then Horus's two eyes that brightened the two lands, for the two eyes were the sun by day and the moon by night and the term eyes of Horus was applied to the sun and moon. Revelation 1.14, speaking of Jesus, says, his eyes were like a flame of fire. In Daniel 10.5 through 6, his eyes are like flaming torches. Although the Canaanite symbol for the sun was an upright stone, the most ancient and popular solar symbol seems to have been the eye. This symbol was naturally suggested by, and in conformity to, the ancient idea that the sun was an all-seeing god, 
whose penetrating gaze revealed everything that was visible to man. The sun, in short, possessed to primitive minds all the attributes of a great eye gazing down upon the earth. Lucifer is cast down to Sheol, winter, in the same way Jesus descends into hell or Hades, Sheol, winter. How art thou fallen from heaven, equals summer, tropic of cancer, O Lucifer, son of the morning, equals Jupiter, spring sun, how art thou cut down to the ground, which didst weaken the nations, equals tropic of Capricorn, winter, for thou hast said in thine heart, I will ascend into heaven equals summer tropic of Cancer, I will exalt my throne equals Cassiopeia, above the stars of God equals Gad, Aries, note, the throne Cassiopeia sits right above Aries, I will sit also upon the mount of the congregation equals Mount Zion, Mount Olympus the twelve of the zodiac, in the sides of the north equals tropic of Cancer, I will ascend above the heights of the clouds, I will be like the most high equals the god Elion, the most high is the sun in the house of the lion or Leo, July, yet thou shalt be brought down to hell, to the sides of the pit, equals Hades Sheol winter tropic of Capricorn.